second one. a continuation on uh, my water spiking that I'm having in my RV and what I ended up doing is the graph that I'm going to show you before I'm speaking will show where I installed an accumulator after I installed it the water spikes came down about 20 psi and so with that being said, because the accumulators are so small, I decided to put in a second accumulator. And let's see if I can get that down to about 60. And then if I can keep it consecutively 60, I'll be happy with that. Because I just want to get rid of the spiking, because spiking is what causes water leaks. Okay, so moving right along. Basically the same thing I did yesterday. I had to go out and I had to get some half inch clamps. I had to get the half inch uh, swivel female elbow. I got two of them actually. And then I had to get the uh, half inch plug. And then I got, uh, that's the other swivel. And then I got the T's. I got one T because I wasn't sure if I had a half inch T. And so I know I had some elbows. I used, a, I have elbows that I already had, but it doesn't look like I'm going to need them after all. So what I'm going to do first is, um, I also already shot a video of pumping up the new, uh, <laughs> the new part, but this time I only put 30 PSI. Because I'm going to see if that will absorb more pressure. And so um, my first step is going to be turning off the water. Close valve. I come back up here. Okay. The valve closed. You can see right here where it says the water's off. Right here. And so I'm going to go over to the uh, sink and I'm going to release the water pressure. Hot and cold. And here's what's going to happen. maintain a little bit so now I'm going to come over to the hot side see if anything comes out of hot go back to the cold side okay now I emptied them both now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the point of no return I'm going to cut the cold line going into the water heater okay because of the location where I'm going to splice that water line into that's the feed for the hot water heater. So it means I have to drain the hot water heater, which I am getting ready to do right now. Taking a beating.
Okay, point of no return. Okay, hot water tank is full. I like to shut it off. Before I do, 52.3. 52.5, I shut it off. See how high it gets. Yeah, I mounted this one upside up, by the way. It's right here, easy to get to the valve. Don't have to pull the drawer out anymore. So, that's where she is.